All right, guys, 2015 Ford Transit 150. Uh, we're gonna be doing the brake pads, the rotors that went metal to metal, and I'm also gonna be changing the caliper on this one. So I wanna show you guys uh, how I'm gonna be doing that. I've already made a video on how to do pads and rotors, but not including the caliper. So what I'm gonna do right now is set you guys up. We're gonna do the same procedure we did last time, brake pads, rotors, but now we're gonna be swapping out this caliper. This caliper went metal to metal, and if you look in here, the uh, seal on the caliper is actually torn and that's going to give us problems later on if I just retract that piston like that. So I'm going to be swapping out the whole thing in the back, brake pads, rotors, and this right rear caliper. So I'm going to set you guys up. We're going to get to work and it's not a big deal. Uh, on this caliper, there's only a parking brake cable that we got to remove and the hydraulic um, brake line. Who I believe is like a 12 millimeter or a 10 millimeter we'll find out right now but it comes to this bolt right here take it off we'll pinch it so that it doesn't leak we'll remove the cable we can take off the caliper and then we can take off the bracket the brake pads the rotors we'll remove all this got to take off the axle so let me set you guys up and we'll start working here on this 2015 ford transit 150. all right guys so the very first thing i want to do is remove this parking brake cable from here all we got to do is pry this because it's held in with this spring here this is what's keeping tension on here. When you put the parking brake cable, this pulls on this. So what I'm gonna do here is just stick a screwdriver in there and I'm gonna take some of that tension off, okay? And I'm gonna pry it until I'm able to release this cable from here, like that. That's simple, guys. Now, I can take off my brake line. I can undo these two caliper bolts to take this caliper out of here and then we can continue the brake job like a normal brake job, so. Uh, the only difference here is that after we're done with this, we're gonna have to bleed the brakes, but that's not a big deal. We can do a gravity bleed, which is gonna be super simple. I'll show you guys how to do that. So let me just continue with the brake job right here, and then we're gonna uh, we'll change the caliper up. All right, I was gonna do a time lapse, but I think I'm gonna do this live so you guys can see how long it takes, which is not that long. It'll probably take me like maybe 15 minutes to swap this thing out. So all I did right now was take off this chingadera from the top. It's a 13 millimeter wrench right there and then you can take it out. And then uh, this one right here on the bottom. Okay. Another 13. And we can take this caliper out. All right, we'll get to the caliper in a little bit. Let me take the rest of this shit out. I don't want to let the caliper hang here. Take some tension off this line. Take some tension off of the rest of this stuff. The bungee cord is holding it in place. Now I'm going to take this right here. So in here, there's two 15 millimeters that I got to take off so I can get the bracket out. Okay. Here's that. Here's your bracket. And I don't know what it is, but for some reason, every time we get one of these uh, Ford Transit F-150s, the brakes are metal to metal all the time. Uh, 515s on this side. Try that one right there. So I'll be using my half inch with the 15. Take that off. Five 15 millimeter bolts. You're supposed to replace these. I said that in the last video, but they don't look stretched out to me. They're still okay. I can reuse them. Is that good? Fuck, I can't see. I think it's good. Okay, that's good. So all I'm gonna do here, I gotta take off this axle so I can take the rotor off. What I'm gonna do is twist the rotor like this and just pull on it and it's gonna bring the axle out. We're gonna leak a little bit of fluid, then we'll top it off at the end. Now we can take this axle all the way out. And now we can take the rotor off. All right, so this right here is what you're looking at after you take off the axle, the rotor, the caliper out of the way, the bracket, everything's here on the floor as you guys can see. And it does leak out uh, differential fluid, so you will have to fill it up uh, one other thing, and I think I did mention this in my first um, Ford Transit video, is this seal. If you're not going to be replacing it, make sure that it's still good, it's in place, and uh, you lubricate it when you put it back. 
So a uh, big shout out to the homie Calvin Lee. He actually left a comment on that first video and he said, why don't you just turn the rotor so that it's out of the way right here and then just pull on it and you can get the axle off that way instead of having to hammer it from the back. And it, it is a lot easier, it's faster. It's not a big deal though, but thank you Calvin Lee for dropping that comment on that video. Uh, right now I'm gonna put the new rotor, the new pads, and then I'll show you how to put the new caliper on there. Let me just put everything back for you and we'll continue with this job here. All right, got the new rotor in. Oh, about to drop it in. Goes in just like that. After you have the rotor in, you can pop the axle in there. What I like to do is take a little bit of diff fluid on there and uh, just lubricate the, the O-ring because I'm going to be reusing the same one. Just like that. Make sure you get it right in the middle. Okay. And then just give it a little, give it a little whack with the hammer. Get it all the way in. Once it's flush, you can tighten up the rotor. Tighten up the rotor. You're gonna push it back, turn it so that these holes align with the rotor and we can tighten it up. You always wanna start them by hand. Make sure you grab on a couple threads before you gun them or you will strip them and you're gonna have a long day. Unless your day's over already. Bolts are grabbing on, we're good. Now I'm just gonna zap them real quick. Tight, okay, we're good. Let me get the caliper and we'll swap it over with that old one. Put the new one on there. And then bleed the brakes and we're almost done here, guys. So the bracket goes on first. You can see it's missing the hardware. We're gonna install that and then put the pads on there. Hopefully you guys can hear me good because it's pretty loud over here. I'm blocking? Yeah, I think I'm blocking. Okay, well the bracket's on there. I just got to tighten it up. 15 millimeter. Swivel sockets. You got to get swivel sockets or you're going to be fixing cars, guys. Gives you that angle that you're going to need sometimes. So let me gun them real quick. All right, now... Installing new hardware. Can you guys see that? Yeah, new hardware. It's always a good idea to replace your hardware because these act like springs on the brake pads and they keep them from like, they're like anti rattle clips. So it's always good to replace these. Okay. All right, now that I have on there, I'm gonna put the pads. I've already explained this before in other videos. If you have this notch in here, that's the inner pad. So you want that notch aligned with the caliper, that little notch on the caliper. I've talked about that before in a couple of videos. So go back and watch my older videos if you're new here. Okay. Pads are on. I'm gonna put the caliper on there, making sure that this notch will align with the, with the pad, with the notch on the pad. So it looks like it will, so I'm gonna put it on there now. You'll feel it if it doesn't align, so take it off and move it. Like butter, okay. Now we just gotta hit him with a 13. Where's my 13, here? Good. All right, so check this out. Now that I have the caliper mocked up like that, I'm gonna swap over the parking brake cable and uh, the brake fluid line. And then after that, we should be able to just pump the brakes, open this bleeder screw, and then just do a gravity bleed on there. If you don't have anybody helping you, or we can use like a vacuum bleeder or something, but I think we won't lose a lot of fluid. So a lot of air won't get in here and we should be able to do gravity bleeding on this uh, or transit and get it going. After this, we'll just top off the diff. I'll show you guys how to do that and we'll call this a video. So let me uh, set you up so we can do all this right here. Let's see. Under the 
the truck right here. What is that? I think you guys will get a good shot right there. Let me know if you don't. There's, all, there's a plug right here for the caliper. You got to take that off. What I would do is put this on the old one or keep it. These are always useful to plug up other sh you know, like uh, holes or whatever. I'm gonna use one of these pinch pliers so that I won't lose a lot of fluid on the brake line like that. Before I do that, let me, um, see if you can see this. See this right here? This little chingadera, I gotta squeeze the clips and I can get that brake cable out of there. Just a pair of needle nose pliers to do that. Eleven mil right here. And I can get that caliper out of there. I'm just gonna use this plug on the caliper so I won't leak any fluid right now. I got a new bolt, but I don't have new washers. Hold on. New bolt, no washers. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reuse the same one. And of course, after I do this, I'm just gonna make sure that it doesn't leak. Um, I don't like to do it that way, but this truck, this truck has to go today. So let me put this on the caliper, tighten it up. If it's still leaking, you gotta go ahead and get new washers, but this one stopped leaking right now. You're gonna be able to see it right now. I'm gonna remove this hose clamp. And uh, clean this off a little bit so I can see if it leaks. Uh, what I did right now was tighten up this old um, banjo bolt and it's not leaking. I took off the clamp, I'm gonna pump the brakes and I just gotta double check and triple check and make sure that it doesn't leak because uh, that can be a problem. We didn't get new washers with it, I don't know why, but no big deal. Um, so just clean it up real good and then after we pump the brakes we'll just double check to make sure that there's no leaks. Right now what I'm going to do is install this parking brake cable. Uh, this little chingadera just goes through this hole right here so let me show you that real quick. So you can see that it just goes through the hole once you pull it through it'll snap into place and it won't go back out okay. Now we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to pry on this caliper so I can install this little hook and get it onto the caliper chingadera oh this one's really soft this one's way softer compared to the other one compared to the old one there it is it's in there this spring oh, look at that hopefully that doesn't give us problems in the future right now I'm gonna bring the truck down I'm gonna pump the brakes and I'm gonna open this bleeder screw after I pump the brakes and then I'm just gonna leave it open until I see brake fluid coming out of there and then it's good to go. I'm gonna go pump the brakes. You guys keep an eye right here, make sure it doesn't leak. And then after that, I'm gonna come and open the bleeder valve if we're all good. Ah, uh, yeah, it looks like it's leaking, see? Let's see if I can tighten up a little more. Let's see where it's leaking from. the homie up there pumping the brake pedal I'm gonna keep an eye here because it looked like it was leaking but I'm not sure where it was leaking from so let me uh, take off this little plug for the bleeder valve pump it ah yeah I see that right here okay I'm gonna tighten it up because it looks like it's pump it okay it looks like it got tight let me go ahead and open the bleeder screw. Since he's already there, we're using to bleed the brakes. Pump it! Pump it again! Pump it! There we go. Pump it! One more time, pump it! Okay. We're good! Thank you. All right, we're good. 
I don't know if I caught that on video, but <clears throat> there was a lot of air in there. Uh, not a lot, but once he pumped it, the first two pumps, we had air. Then after that, we got fluid. And once we got a, a chingadera, a, a good stream of fluid, then we're good to go. All right, let me show you. All right, so for those of you that wanted to know where to drain and fill this chingadera from, so you pretty much drain it by taking off the cover. Once you take off the cover, all the fluid's gonna come out. And when you fill it up on this side, there's a little fill plug. So you need a 3 8 wrench to open that up. So let me get a wrench for you. It's not that difficult, not at all. Well, you put a wrench on there, see that? And then you're gonna turn that counterclockwise. If fluid comes out of there, you're good, but I'm pretty sure on this one, we're not gonna get any fluid out because we did lose some when we did the brake. So we're gonna break that loose, okay? I got it loose enough so where I can take it off by hand. If I take this off by hand and I start getting fluid out of here, then it's at the proper level. But I don't think I'll get any out. Oh, I'm gonna leave that alone. Wow, my face is dirty. Look at that. <laughs> we can't top it off, but since it's already coming out, it's probably because we're not level here, but we didn't lose that much. We didn't lose that much fluid. I would say maybe like a tenth of a quart, which it's not bad at all. I'm just gonna tighten it up and we're gonna ship this one out of here. I think that's it. I'll put everything back. We'll go on a little test drive and make sure we're good. All right, guys, last thing you wanna do is check your brake fluid, make sure it's at the proper level. And it is, because I topped it off already. But remember, you guys, uh, we bled the brakes and we lost a little bit when we took the caliper off. So everything's good here. We're good to go. Now we go test drive. It's already 5.30, it's May 4th. I gotta get the heck out of here because I gotta go watch the Canelo fight. And my bet is, still fucking dirty, but my bet is on Canelo. Canelo, I think it's going 12 rounds, not because of anything special, but just because that's the way boxing is. You know, I uh, boxing is just not the same. I mean, it's just like everything, you know, shit changes over time, but boxing is just whack now. It's, I'd rather watch you or UFC over boxing. You guys let me know in the comments below, what do you prefer, UFC or boxing? But my, my money's on Canelo tonight, 12 rounds. Uh, if I'm wrong, fuck it, I'll, I'll do something for you guys. I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. But my money's on Canelo fighting. I'll buckle up before this fucking light gets snowing. I don't even know who he's fighting, but I just know there's a fight today because there's a fight. Everybody's talking about it. So anyways, we're driving this truck right now. I'm out of breath because it's fucking hot and I'm running around. It's 5.30. I'm trying to go home already. So let's see. Oh yeah, nice and soft. No noise. When I drove it in, it was just grinding. It was just, you know, don't even, whatever. It's, it's dirty. I know. I think it kind of looks cool. Shit. Okay, I'll leave it there. I'll go to the fight. I'll go to the Canelo fight with this face. But uh, yeah, guys, Saturday, tomorrow, Cinco de Mayo. Don't drink too much. Stay safe out there. Don't get a DUI because they're expensive. Shit. All right, so truck feels good. 2015 Transit F-150. One of these big ass work vans that everybody's using nowadays for some reason like i said every time these brakes go metal to metal it's always a rear brake so we're gonna try the parking brake out you guys saw that spring on that rear caliber it's kind of flimsy and it was kind of flimsy and i didn't even get the washers for that banjo bolt so i'm not happy with that caliper but it is what it is i, I made the, I, I made the, i made the best of it so uh let's see let me pull over right here i should be having i should have the ac on right now Okay, so let me try the parking brake. Okay, parking brake is on. I'm gonna let, I'm in drive. Ah, and we're not going anywhere. That's a good one. All right, so that's how you test parking brakes. Uh, let me show you. 